decades later he sees it as the miracle grain that could replace quinoa and transform Africa's economy. Quinoa has been grown for over 5,000 years and is possibly the oldest cultivated cereal in Africa. The gluten-free grain, native to Thiam's birth country, Senegal, has been touted as the next quinoa. It is nutritious, particularly rich in methionine and cysteine, two amino acids that are deficient in most other major grains, barley, rice, or wheat to name a few, the chef said of Fanyo at the recently concluded TED Global Conference in Tanzania. And it is from exporting this grain that he believes Africa can turn its economy around. The mystery of a grain years ago while doing research for his cookbook, Thiam was reintroduced to Fanyo, the grain he knew from childhood. He would later learn that everywhere Fanyo was grown, it was shrouded in myths and superstitious beliefs. In Casamance, Senegal, where my parents are from, growing Fanyo around one's compound is believed to keep away the evil eye, he said. His study led him further down a rabbit hole of discovery. Natives of Dogen in Mali believe it is the seed of the universe where the earth sprouted, while in ancient Egypt the grain was found in the pyramids' burial grounds. I became more interested in this grain that was deemed worth taking to the afterlife by early Egyptians, he said. Rich grain, poor land Fanyo is cultivated in Kadaugu, a place Thiam describes as one of the poorest regions of Senegal. Because of desertification and lack of job prospects, much of Kadaugu's young population has left. They chose the deadly path of migration in search of better opportunities. Often, they risk their lives trying to reach Europe, he said in his TE talk. For him, exporting the resilient Fanyo, which thrives where nothing else will grow, might be the answer to the looming poverty. Although we are still at an early stage of development, we are collaborating with an NGO called SOS Sahel to recruit, train and equip the youths throughout the Sahel region, including Kadaugu. The youths are happy to have the opportunity of a paying job, he later told News Total. One grain, many possibilities despite the great potential Fanyo has, he says there is a lot of work to be done in changing Senegalese locals' perception of it as country people food. In an effort to upgrade its status and share it with the world as a world-class crop, Thiam struck a deal with the largest natural food chain in America, Whole Foods, which started selling packs of Fanyo this year. The first location, Harlem, is selling really well and we are now planning to unroll through their 36 northeast region locations, he said. He is keen to continue pushing Fanyo even further, and his dream is to see his native grain developed into every food type on the market. We have developed several Fanyo products that we plan to gradually introduce to the market. Crackers, cereals and pastas. If Thiam's dream comes true, Fanyo could rival quinoa around the world.